Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 38th episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. To start off, I want to talk about the most dramatic news first. Now yesterday, HP announced that they will be completely severing themselves from any ties that they had to the personal computer business. And they also said that they will no longer create devices for WebOS. However, they said that they could license out WebOS to other companies that manufacture devices. But they're trying to go into the whole post PC era and again completely sever themselves from any ties that they had to the PC industry. Now I know there have been a lot of reports suggesting that the iPad 3 will be released this fall around the same time that the iPhone 5 is announced and released. However, since those rumors have started, I have always discredited them because I do not think that Apple will release a device before their yearly refresh because there would be angry customers, there would be people trying to return the iPad too, and they would just earn a bad reputation. But earlier this week, it appears that new reports have come in suggesting that the iPad 3 will not be ready until around March of 2012, which should be around the yearly refresh for the iPad. So that makes more sense. And now all the people who reported in the past that the iPad 3 would be available this fall are now suggesting that Apple will stick to their yearly refresh, which is definitely more accurate in my opinion. Now we've also received Word that Apple will actually have the iPhone 5 available for pre-orders starting on September 30th and it will be available to purchase on October 7th. And today we actually have another article to back that one up. It's a report suggesting that AT&T's vice president told AT&T higher ups that around the release date of the iPhone 5 it's going to be extremely busy and they need to tell their managers to prepare the stores for extreme chaos when the iPhone 5 is released somewhere around October. So the iPhone 5 will most likely be announced in September as well as available for pre-order at the end of September and available to actually purchase in stores on October 7th. Moving on, iOS 5 Beta 6 was released today for developers, and if you guys want more information on that, and if you guys want to see all of the changes for iOS 5 Beta 6, then I will have a link down below in the more info, and you guys can check it out. Again, it details everything that's in iOS 5 Beta 6 and all of the changes from the other iOS 5 betas. A couple days ago, Apple released OS 10.7.1, for Lion users and it's an update that fixes a couple of general issues and one of the issues is actually Wi-Fi. So I have noticed that my laptop connects to Wi-Fi more easily now and when I wake it up from sleep mode, most of the time it's still connected to that Wi-Fi network, which is definitely a good thing. Now pictures from one of the companies that manufactures iPhone 4 screens has been leaked and supposedly it's a picture of them producing iPhone 5 screens. Now if you look at it, it looks like there's a cutout for a bigger home button and that would match up with some of the designs and mockups that we've seen in the past. Also it looks like it has a bigger screen, so that would definitely match up with most of the rumors we've been hearing about an iPhone with a 4 inch screen or bigger. However, it could just as easily belong to another phone that they manufacture screens for. Along the same lines, it's also been reported that Apple will cut back on iPhone production for the fourth quarter of 2011 due to economic concerns. Now this report by DigiTimes doesn't necessarily say that they will reduce their original orders for the third quarter of 2011. It just basically states that for the fourth quarter of 2011, they will cut back on iPhone production slightly. So they could actually just be cutting back on iPhone 4 and iPhone 3GS production due to the soon to be released iPhone 5, but we'll just have to wait and see. Also, another fake Apple store has been exposed, and this one actually looks a bit more realistic than some of them that we've seen in the past. However, it doesn't feature those wooden tables that those other fake Apple stores have. But again, it's something that's interesting, and hopefully this fake Apple store will be shut down along with all of the others that have started popping up recently. And finally, this is somewhat related to the fake Apple store. However, this one is a new concept that was discovered that is thought to be Apple's design, and if true, it will be on 3rd Street in Santa Monica, California, 
And what's special about this Apple store is it features an entire roof made of glass and the front of the store is completely made out of glass while the other three walls, including the two sides in the back, will be made out of stone. Now this store will also have a downstairs basement similar to how the Fifth Avenue Apple store is in New York. So it definitely looks elegant. However, we're not sure whether or not it is actually Apple's work. Someone just came across the design plans and again, Apple's name wasn't necessarily attached to it, but when you look at it, it definitely looks like something that Apple would design. So that's basically it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Please remember to rate it up. And for the question of the day, let me know down below in the comment section whether or not you guys are sad that HP is shutting down their PC business as well as the fact that they will stop manufacturing webOS devices. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video. And links to everything I talked about in today's episode will be down below in the more info as well as links to my Facebook page and Twitter accounts. So be sure to like my Facebook page, follow my Twitter accounts, and follow my writer's Twitter account to be updated more often. Again, I hope you guys liked this video, and until next time, this is ICU, signing out.